Joining us on the phone is Dot Marie Jones from Glee. Good morning, Dot. Good morning, Big J. How are you this morning? It's almost a weekend. you got to be good, right? I'm really good. It's Friday, baby. I know, I know. <laughs> I always think that, too. It's like Friday for me is like, oh, man, it's so nice. Finally get to go to the weekend. But if I was living life like you, I would probably be good every day. I mean, because it's you, you get to do what you love, right? I mean, you're always doing fun stuff, appearances, acting, all that fun stuff. Yeah, every day is Friday, pretty much. Yeah, I can imagine that. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, it's not just Glee. Obviously, uh, Glee is doing its thing, and it's huge, and it's fun, and it's exciting. But also, uh, you're getting a little involved in uh, the, the charity side of things, right? Yeah, I'm actually promoting a kid's book right now called um, Just, like, Just Like You. And it's and what, it, what's the idea of the book? Um, the book is an anti-bullying book for young kids or parents to read to young children. And it's a very sweet, sweet book. And all the proceeds, um, the only place to get the book right now is online at um, justlikeyoufoundation.org. Okay. And you get one of five charities on there to pick from. What do you want all your money to go to? Very cool. And uh, yeah. so how'd you get involved in the anti-bullying thing? I mean, is this something you've always been passionate about? Is this kind of a, a new thing yeah. for you? Yeah, I have been. You know, I mean, not that I was bullied a lot, but, you know, people make stupid comments my whole life. I was always big. Mm-hmm. I was always the tallest and biggest in my class. And then in eighth grade, I went from 5'6 to 6'1". Wow. Yeah. And so, you know, my thing is I have like 23 nieces and nephews. And I've always been, you know, supportive of them and just encouraging them to do whatever they want to do, as you know, my mom did for me. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That I mean, because yeah. I, I was uh, bullied for being big as well. I'm Big J. I've always been a big guy, too. But when I look back on it and think, like, man, that was kind of rough for me, I think all the time, I'm like, that would be so much more difficult for a female. I mean, it's difficult for everybody, but it's like there's something where it's like, as a guy, you know, getting made fun of for being big and stuff, you can kind of take it. And I'm like, but as a girl, it's just, it seems so much harder even to be a female and get bullied. Yeah, it, it's a little tougher. And it's being, you know, I'm 6'3 and 250, so it's not like I'm some little wallflower. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. and I'm okay with that. It's just apparently other people weren't. So, exactly. That's what's you know, cool. They make their comments and stuff, and you just. You try to get used to it and not cuss them out, but, you know, you rise above them. I heard from uh, Eric Stone Street, I believe, from uh, Modern Family. I was. I love uh, Eric. He was oh. on um, a Barbara Walters special, and he was saying that he was made fun of a lot. And he said, you know what, like, it, as much as it stinks and it sucked at the time, he's like, you know, looking back on it now, he's like, it really did kind of shape me into who I am. And, and I agree with that, too, that I, I think that's why I've, you know, like Eric Stone Street and me and, you know, maybe you, but you get bullied when you're a kid and it, like, creates this kind of uh, defense mechanism that sometimes turns into like really good comedy and not that yeah, I think we should keep some, doing it. I mean and also too like when we were kids the bullying wasn't like it was now. Yes. I think it's way worse now. Totally. Yeah. When we were kids it was more like fat jokes and stuff and now it's like vicious and like violent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like when we were kids it was at school and you'd go home and it'd be done. Now it's like you can't get away from it because they're on on the internet and online and all that crap. Definitely. Yeah. What I mean what do you th- do you get bullied still on the internet? I mean are people rough to you on the internet or is it mostly good now? Um, the big thing is that it still, you know, strikes a nerve. Is that a man or a woman? Oh, I see. People, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know what? Never been a man. Never planned to be. I see. That's yeah. That's gotta suck. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it's the it, not that it makes it right. But I mean, when people are saying yeah. stuff like that, it's got to be feel a little better looking at your life right now and saying like, you know what? Like, look at what I'm doing. I mean, I'm I'm on yeah. Glee. Like everything's going so well for me. It's like you can't bring me down. I mean, it's exactly. A- and if it weren't for my size, I wouldn't be where I'm at now, and I wouldn't have accomplished all the athletic things I've done. Definitely. Yeah. You're like a you're a crazy good arm wrestler, right? <laughs> Crazy good. I love that. Um, I won. Um, I'm retired now because my shoulder's shot, but I won 15 world titles. That is insane. I didn't even know there was like world championships of arm wrestling. And oh, yeah. Billings has um, a bunch of arm wrestlers, too. Really? Have you been up to yeah. Billings? I haven't, and I so want to. You should. You should get up here. It's just so beautiful, and I want to go up there and go fishing. Definitely. I'm a country girl. We got a lot of fishing up here. I know some guys. I know. Well, you let me know. We're Facebook friends, you and I are. I bet you didn't even know that, but you get a hold of me and I'll hook you up with a guide and we'll get you taken care of. 
All right, as long as you go too. I, w- I would love to go. Let's, awesome. let's talk a little bit about Glee. Any news on uh, what's happening with your character this season? Anything you can tell us? Um, wow, this season's been amazing. I had my first solo a few weeks ago when I sang Jolene. Congratulations, by the way. That was awesome uh, to watch. I really enjoyed that. Oh, thank you so much. And then, um, you know, the love triangle between me, Sue, and Cooter Mankins, um, <laughs> the recruiter from Ohio State, is um, getting a little more saucier in episode 10. Did you think when you got on the show, I'm sure you had no idea, you know, what to expect and uh, things have been kind of developing, but did you ever think that you were going to be involved in like a, a love triangle or like a big relationship or something like that on the show? Well, you know, they talk about what they're going to do and stuff, and then with Eric, or I'm um, sorry, with Ian and Brad and Ryan, it's like you never know from week to week what those guys are going to come up with. Exactly. Do you have any fear on those shows? You know, a few people have left now. I always wonder this. Do you have the fear that, like, it could be your week? You know, that, like, in a few weeks they could say, hey, you, you know, Coach Beast is going to transfer to another school? Because you, I mean, you replaced somebody else on the show, and are you ever f- afraid they're going to, like, write your character off, or do you just not even think about that? You know, I, you of course always fear that in the back of your mind, but with the way that the character has been written and each episode that they write me into, it's totally open ended to definitely come back. That's cool. So lots of people yeah. texting in here. They're uh, they're loving you here. Somebody said, "Dot, oh, I love s- you guys too. Thank you so much." He said, "Dot, you're such an inspiration. Uh, thank you, Dot, for talking about bullying. My son gets bullied, and he's sitting here listening, and he was surprised that you got bullied." Oh, buddy, too. don't let anybody bully you. There you go. She's got some uh, some good words of wisdom. And if you want more information and uh, more assistance there, or just want to help, check out JustLikeYouFoundation.org. Uh, just look up Just Like You Foundation. You can Google it, too, and you can get the book there and uh, donate to some good causes that are helping out. Uh, help to stop the bullying there so uh, yeah. people don't have and to And my word to the kids out there is, you know what? If somebody's bullying you, you tell somebody, and you keep telling somebody else until somebody, something's done. Yeah, somebody will listen at some point. Yeah. I, I agree with you so much. Dot Marie Jones, Coach Beast from Glee. Make sure to check her out on Glee, and also check out the Just Like You Foundation. Dot, it's great work that you're doing, and uh, hopefully... Thank you, big Hopefully we'll get you up here for some uh, fishing sometimes. Absolutely, my brother. All right. Talk to you later, Don. Have a good one. (laughs) Thank you, sweetheart. Happy holidays. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.